plenty of the pro mid laners starting to tweet out about the power of the mid lane Kogma. And you do get early mana, uh, trying to get your tier as early as you possibly can. Part of me that cheers for him every time, hoping he can get up and fly away. You can do a little Kogma, and you can do it! Evil geniuses as they try to survive the dive, but they will not. Because that was already expended, they had to do this rotation. Now he has to burn his flash, oh, and no! he's toast! He's not flying anywhere, but straight up to heaven. Nobody on the side of evil genius is anywhere nearby to even think about contesting this one. And honestly, Kobe, these first six minutes of gameplay have gone fantastic. Whereas he could go training force if he wants, um, but I would say it's very ill-advised. He's down bottom lane, making a play. Oh, there we go. Bang's in some trouble, gonna be taken down, taken all the way out of the picture. And we'll see evil geniuses try to, to find- the team does it extremely well on the bottom side. Santorin going in for- Whoa. Santorin going real hard against Finn Scare in here and with power of evil there for the backup. Facilitating these plays, working well with the jungler. You're a jungler, Kobe. You know how good that feels when your team's looking out for you and you're looking out for them. Ignar trying to get himself away now. Might be the first death of the game here for FlyQuest. Finn Scare going into the Ragnarok to make sure it is a done deal. Quest had taken away their team dragon here even with the ocean dragon picked up by EG. Even though the individual Santorin actually activates the Rift Veil, he can also uh, use his own ultimate to turn off the tower and try and kill Kumo under it. They know there's no support. There it is. Shelly summoned up. Damage going through, and they even oh. got the help from Ignard. And now they will make sure that they grab themselves first turret credit before that 14-minute mark so they get all the extra plate money from, from the, the damage. End. Fortunately for the side of FlyQuest, he's almost completely out of mana. He has no blue yeah. buff. So that's not exactly a good sign for the side of the evil geniuses. As now Santorin will force the ulti out of that enemy Olaf. That could be very big. Yumi ulti coming through. Damage going to follow up there as the Ornhorn Horn sounds off. Mash is already down, but now Zazel is going to be suplexed right into the wall. Evil Genius is trying to fall back now. Kubo and Jizuke in a lot of trouble. Santorin chasing after. Power of Evil's got the clockwork wind up for the kill. Yes, and that remembers is off of Summoner's Rift, even though they don't die with such low health. Immediate Rift Herald activation mid. You get mid tower, you get a charge onto secondary mid, as well as getting your Infernal Dragon or FlyQuest. No hesitation here on the follow-up and a big mid tower dropping and, and bottom very low. They go for a pick. Power of Evil trying to get away from the Ornhorn, Horn, but can't quite do it. And now do they have the damage to take their opponent down? Yes, they do. Evil Genius has got the kill on the Good places like a death's dance on your set. It's very scary for Evil Geniuses to have to deal with. Santorin's just running up on this <laughs> poor little butterfly, man. He's never going to get to fly away from things like this. Santorin just eats him for breakfast. 0-3 and 0 on Jizuke's Kog'Maw, as at least Evil He's, Genius... Uh, really trying to farm a bit greedily. Olaf does oh. get stunned up. It's been scaring. Saving the ult. He did not want to have to use it, but realized there was no choice at that point. Popping the Ragnarok, trying to get himself away. But now, coming in from the side, it's Solo over the top rope, looking to keep this team fight going. Ladies and gentlemen, that is one kill for the side of FlyQuest, looking to grab even more. Jizuke running away. Flap them little wings, buddy. You better run <laughs> like hell, because Santorin is on a ramp. Put a couple of these uh, deep wards into the blue buff side jungle of EG. Currently, EG yeah, have associated with them. FlyQuest oh, tearing them apart. Here comes the bear. Looking to go all the way over that chicken pit. Still looking to find the kill on the bang. Solo's coming in from the side to make sure he's got some backup. FlyQuest are a little bit separated right now. Shockwave only going to find Spin Scarin. Santorin will just continue galloping towards him. This bear's got some horsepower as Santorin will now have to disengage. Go over out. the bottom side <laughs> river. It's. If you're evil geniuses, man, this is an intense moment. You know that this could be where the game is won or lost. As the Oriana Shockwave finds its way on a two. Spin Scarum barely being kept alive now as he has to run all the way out of there. But Kubo could be the one who pays the price. Mash grabbing the kill onto him. Ladies and gentlemen, Bang is going to be the next one. Follow it up with the loot pinata. I have to say, the double dunk of the set plus the Volibear Bear is never so going to get old to me. That is it's definitely so fun. And FlyQuest, you can tell, they've got the Gatekeepers right in front of the Baron. Varus Arrow, Varus Chains of Corruption was keeping Bang away, but now he goes over the wall. He's still going to take the damage from the Haymaker. Kumo trying to use the Ornhorn, able to find a knock-up onto two. This could be really big, but the heals are coming through, and FlyQuest is going to be kept alive. 
not a lot of value there out of the Shockwave, and Evil Geniuses are able to find themselves a couple of critical kills. Can they do the rest of the damage to make this happen? Mash is gone, Santorin is gone, Solo's looking to fight till his dying breath, but that breath is now. And into this, fortunately for Evil Geniuses, that is a lethality Varus doesn't have the most DPS compared to the traditional on hit build. Svenskeren's likely Huge. gonna fall here though. If taking a lot of this poke damage, or an ultimate does land. Oh, and more importantly, Power of Evil is able to find the Rampage onto Bang, still on the back line, grabbing a double down onto the enemy AD carry, making a triple with a cat too. Loot Pinata, baby. 300 <laughs> more gold in his pocket. Solo coming around from the side. Here come the Dunk Boys, looking to dunk yet again. And that is all she wrote. They cool. realize they've got the minions here in the mid lane. They've got the whole team ready to go. They're all ready to fight. They're looking to take down inhibitor number one with the next minion wave coming up and only Sven Scarin in their it's way. FlyQuest looks to end this game. Olaf goes into the Ragnarok, but he'll see nothing but Valhalla. That's his seventh death of the game. FlyQuest controlled this one from start to finish, and they will take down Evil Geniuses. FlyQuest, really, really well done here, honestly.